sugar, spice, and everything nice. Doku moves up a notch to their third iteration, like two parents having a child, giving them the best of both worlds, a splash of ports from the Doku 1, the self-bomber look of the Doku 2, and a trackpad a mother could love. If I were Apple, I would take notice, because this thing could easily replace the Magic Keyboard, and mine is officially on eBay. Hello and welcome back. VLD, let's get started. I believe I finally found my new favorite number and that is number three because the Doku 3 hits it out of the park. This comes in every flavor for the Air, the Pro, and the Pro 12.9 inch. They do sell a version with a leather carrying case for $20 more, which I do recommend. It feels nice. Even for the Mini 6, anywhere off the internet, you can pick this up around $170 to $200. Use my discount code to save 8% off their website. Linked down below. Unfortunately, Doku sent me the wrong one. They sent me the one for the 11 inch instead of the 12.9 inch. On Amazon is available now. I did have to wait three weeks to get mine off AliExpress. The bigger one has officially hit the states with the tracking, so it should be here within a week. This video will be the first look at the Doku 3, and when I do get my correct version, I will do a full deep dive and a full review in the coming week or two. This personally could be the replacement for the Apple Magic keyboard which I'm very excited for. Inside the box you have the leather carrying case. It does feel nice. You have the instructions and a keyboard condom to protect your keys from oil and dust. Inside the leather carrying case you have a short type C to type C. Unfortunately when I did order this product I was sent the 11 inch version instead of the 12.9 inch. When I do eventually get the right one I will drop that review. It does everything I needed to do and so much more. You have all the ports you could ever want on the backside. You have USB Type-C on the side for charging. You have a small LED screen that showcases the power, caps lock, and Bluetooth battery level. The lid will open about 90 degrees. Viewing angles are a little bit limited. This could potentially be the spiritual successor of the Doku 1. All the same ports are here. Unfortunately, you do lose the headphone jack. Battery life here is decent. It has a 450 milliamp battery. It takes three hours for a full charge with five hours of usage with the backlight on and you get 75 hours when it's completely turned off. Standby time is 180 days. Connecting everything over Bluetooth is easy and simple. I'm using my Mini 6 for comparison. You could claim this is the best keyboard for the Mini 6, which I mean it's kind of true. The trackpad is miles better than the first two I've reviewed. This feels almost as good as Apple's. I guess it took the third time is the charm really. Occasionally there is a little bit of stuttering, especially over Bluetooth. It's pretty minor. Why do you always see pro PC gamers with wired keyboards and mice because of zero lag? With anything over Bluetooth, there will always be a little bit of lag unless it's an actual hardware connection. The usual one finger functions work well, click and dragging, highlighting text, two fingers scrolling up and down work well, swiping back and forth from web pages do work. Pinch to zoom is native here, especially in gallery. That's one of the best ways to test it. Here with the Doku 3, you can actually open up Sage Manager with three fingers with multitasking. Working with this is a breeze. With this being Bluetooth and not actually being a physical connection, it works well here. Ironically, the Doku 1 trackpad is superior here because it has a real physical connection over USB Type-C, but that one was not the best. Unfortunately, that is not the case here. If you had a physical connection over USB Type-C, I feel as if they could have had something more here, but everything has its pros and cons. I wish I could have had the option of connecting everything over a physical connection and not just Bluetooth. This does charge with USB Type-C to Type-C. Any charger will work here. Inside the leather carrying case, you have a small Type-C to Type-C cable. This is used to connect the keyboards to the iPad to use all the ports. Any Type-C cable will work if it offers a video out. If the cable is lost, rest assured, you're not limited. This keyboard case offers more ports than the MacBook Air. When having everything hooked up, this does draw extra power from the iPad. I have tried C to A and C to C. You cannot charge your iPad when it's hooked up with pass-through through the keyboard case. I've had the same issue with the Doku 1. Plugging in my external SSD, everything loads quickly, including photos and videos. Even when working with large files on a project, there is no bottleneck. You get the same fast USB 3.0 speeds. Throwing everything at it 
my memory card, my external hard drive. The Files app will recognize everything. Hooking up the HDMI for Stage Manager. This is huge here because nothing extra is needed. It is all built into the keyboard case. Having a functional trackpad, you can navigate between the second screen and vice versa. Switching between the applications, closing anything, this trackpad works well here. I can work on a project and watch videos at the same time on either screen or vice versa. With everything plugged in, even throwing in my XLR microphone, I can literally record record a podcast while I watch a video and type out a report. This literally reinvents my workflow and how I actually interact with my iPad. This thing is a game changer here. I literally look at my iPad differently now. All the ports I will ever need. Unlike my Doko 1, you do unfortunately lose a headphone jack. I cannot describe how much I've been waiting for a device like this. This keyboard is good here. I won't do my typical typing tests. You have a chiclet style keyboard keyboard. It's nice and clicky. Rest assured, the third Doko case offers the best keyboard to date. Having a functional keyboard case with a good trackpad and keyboard, all the ports I ever need, this is a major game changer for myself. It reinvents my workflow. The Apple Magic Keyboard offers the best typing and the best trackpad. It's a fantastic product to use, hands down, best at what it does. Unfortunately, I want something that offers a little bit more. Doko really got this down right, fixing what was wrong with the first two and made the best of both worlds, showcasing their A game. Sometimes you have to crawl, to walk, to jog, to run, to get slurped up by a graboid. I am a huge fan of any aluminum keyboard case, especially for my Mini 6. Here is no different. This offers everything I would need, but overall with this preview, I am quite impressed. If uncertain what a graboid is, go watch Tremors. It's a cult classic from the 90s. Kevin Bacon hates this film. So like always, I'm your host, VLD. Stay classy.